Celebrity scandals aren't all that surprising anymore. We see them getting cancelled left and right in today's cancel culture. Today we're going to talk about some of them who have been especially problematic in 2021. I'm your host for this one, Joss Bedard. Thanks for checking us out or welcome back. Make sure you leave a like on this video before we get into it because it really helps us out. Starting off our list number 10 is Blake Shelton. He started out the year strong by facing tons of criticism on New Year's Eve when people heard his song Minimum Wage. He quickly found himself the center of controversy as people said the lyrics were tone deaf and they said he seems clueless to the current state of the world. He wrote the love song because he got engaged to Gwen Stefani in 2020 so he said that his year was personally a great one. Some of the lyrics are, your love can make a man feel rich on minimum wage and the rest of them are all about how his minimum wage lifestyle feels rich with her. Cute but like doesn't totally make sense. The internet immediately turned against him online saying that he is a millionaire making it seem like he lives a minimum wage life. They also thought it was very insensitive to the current state of the world due to obviously this pandemic. Blake finally responded to the backlash and simply said that everyone will have to agree to disagree and explained that he related to the song because of his own struggles making ends meet in the early days of his career. I don't know how I feel about it. It's really just a song, to be honest. Like, I don't care. Up next, number nine is Marilyn Manson. 2021 brought a lot of things to light as he was facing a handful of allegations of abuse from different women. His ex girlfriend, Evan Rachel Wood, was one of the women to come forward, along with three others, to share details of their harrowing experiences of assault. His record label dropped him, and his career and reputation took a massive hit. He released a statement on social media responding to all of these claims, and he wrote, My art and my life have long been magnets for controversy, but these recent claims about me are horrible distortions of reality. My intimate relationships have always been entirely consensual with like-minded partners. Regardless of how and why others are now choosing to misrepresent the past, that is the truth. In July 2021, reports revealed that he is facing his fourth case since the claims first start coming out. He has been sued from a former accuser and is now facing four different lawsuits, none of which have come to a close at this time of the recording, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens. Sliding into number eight is Chrissy Teigen. She's normally not involved in the big Hollywood drama, but in recent months, she has been the center of the biggest scandal in her entire career. It all started when Courtney Sodden accused her of bullying her for years on Twitter and shared rude screenshots and private messages and tweets from her. Some of the tweets went too far as she was wishing death upon her and even encouraged her to take her own life. The tweets are from the past, but people were shocked to see them and couldn't believe that she would ever behave like that, no matter when it happened. Chrissy had to step down from her role in Never Have I Ever season two, where she was supposed to be the voiceover role. It was later announced that she was replaced with Gigi Hadid. Chrissy was quick to apologize though to both Courtney and her fans. She took full responsibility for her actions and said she does not blame everyone for canceling her as her actions were wrong. Cruising to spot number seven is the baby. The rapper is still facing the heat from one of his very recent shows when he made some insensitive and inappropriate comments that offended a lot of people. During one of his shows at a festival in July, he claimed that people with a certain STD will pass away in two or three weeks and continue to make rude comments about homosexual men. Following the show, he immediately lost sponsorship deals and was removed from Dua Lipa's top 10 US hit, Levitating. At first, he started to claim that his words were taken out of context and started making further comments about it online, but then he finally later apologized. He ended up meeting with representatives from GLAAD, which is a US LGBT organization, in a virtual meeting and apologized for the inaccurate and hurtful comments that he made. GLAAD says that he was genuinely engaged with the conversation and listened to personal stories about STDs with deep respect. So I guess he's trying to make it right. Sniping the number six spot is Dixie D'Amelio. The TikTok star and singer faced some backlash after making comments about not going to college. During an interview, she revealed that she got into college in August of 2019, but decided not to go because traveling back and forth was going to be a lot. But she further explained and said, I was also really scared because I saw someone make a TikTok saying that they would play my songs at a frat party. That's really what turned me away from going to school because I don't think I could handle that level of 
embarrassment. At first, people didn't think she was being serious, um, but she was. People immediately started calling her privileged and out of touch with reality. Comments flooded online saying that education is a privilege many people wish that they could be a part of, and that her reasoning for it, like not going, was just ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, that's that's so embarrassing. I'm not going to college because people are gonna play my music. <laughs> what? Okay, Dixie. Halfway through the list at number five is James Charles. The makeup guru took the hardest hit in his career earlier this year when two men claimed he had been talking to them and having inappropriate conversations with them, knowing they were underage. The claims came with screenshots of flirty messages from the YouTuber, but James says that they told him that they were 18 years old. Whether or not that's true, people said that he would know their age simply by looking at their Instagram profiles because they were posting stuff in high schools and whatnot. The worst part is, this is not the first scandal that he's been involved in with younger men claiming that he was speaking to them inappropriately online. He has denied some of the claims from previous incidents, but this time he took full responsibility and shared a very long apology video on his YouTube channel. After that, he took a very long break from posting on all social media and YouTube. However, he recently made his return. And as of now, seems to be more in the clear, um, but ooh, we'll see. Coming into number four is Sharon Osbourne. Earlier this year, she permanently stepped away from her position on The Talk after getting into a big debate with her co-star, Cheryl Underwood. She was kind of forced to step away though, so some people say that she got fired from the job. Things went downhill quickly when she started to defend Piers Morgan, who gave his opinion about Meghan Markle's big interview regarding the royal family and their alleged racist claims. His opinion was that he didn't believe Meghan's claims. Sharon went on the show and started defending him, saying that he has the right to speak about his views and opinion, but then that just caused issues for her because it came off like she was agreeing with him. She tried to defend herself, but it ended up just turning into this huge heated argument. Things got so intense that they actually had to cut to commercial and bleep out a ton of cuss words. The show went on a hiatus before it was announced that it would be moving forward without Sharon. The show released a statement saying that her behavior towards her co-hosts did not align with their values for a respect workplace. Taking over our third spot is David Dobrik. The YouTuber has built an empire for himself throughout the years, but everything was on the line for him earlier this year, and it still kind of is. He turned billions of views into millions of dollars in assets, but has been rapidly losing both money and subscribers after being accused of a once the first allegation was reported, more and more allegations came out, and some of his old vlog footage has people raising eyebrows. On top of that, some leaked podcast clips show David making some very offensive and inappropriate comments. He released an apology video to his podcast YouTube account, not his main one, and muted all the comments on it. That video did not go over so well, and people went in on him even harder than they did before the video. So then he made a second apology video, which which was not received well either. Some of his sponsors have cut off their partnerships with him like SeatGeek, EA Sports, DoorDash, and HelloFresh. He took a break from posting on YouTube and social media, but recently made a return in June of 2021, and he hasn't received a warm welcoming back by any means, but we'll see. Some fans, I'm sure, will stick around. Up next, number two is Tyra Banks. The model found herself at the center of controversy after old clips from America's Next Top Model went viral for all the wrong reasons. Some clips showed them doing a race swapping challenge, Tyra telling a model to close the gap in her teeth, and forcing models to walk on very dangerous runways. Tyra immediately issued an apology on Twitter and admitted that she made some bad choices in the past. But things got even worse when a former contestant from Cycle 6 Lisa D'Amato called Tyra out and said she treated her terribly while on the show. In a video posted on Instagram, she said that Tyra would use her childhood trauma against her day in and day out. She went into detail about her experience on the show and said she is breaching her contract by revealing them, but wants to warn other girls who are considering ever doing that show. Tyra never responded to her claims and just left the controversy with her first initial apology on Twitter. Earning a number one spot is Army Hammer. If you missed all of the drama in 2020, it has followed the actor into 2021 and has completely put his career on hold. 
Disturbing claims started to surface from some of his former girlfriends, saying that he was a cannibal and that he took his BDSM fantasies too far. His one ex, Paige Lorenz, claimed that he would tie her up, use a paddle, and leave her with bruises, bite her to a point of breaking the skin, and even carved his initials into her body during some kind of kinky game. That is just one example of many, and after that first allegation came out, more and more started coming. He was dropped by Billion Dollar Spy immediately, and an investigation by the LAPD was filed against him. But things got more serious than anyone realized, and in June of 2021, he actually checked himself into a treatment program, and sources say it was because he couldn't handle everything that has been going on. Reports claim that he checked into an inpatient facility for substance, alcohol, and sex issues. All right, guys, that's our list for today. Before I head out, I'm going to respond to some of your comments. Samantha Barsh says, what's with the spray tan? You look so pretty without it. First of all, I don't have spray tan, so thanks so much. That is my skin. I just been spending time on the beach, and I look very tanned in that video. Um, so not a spray tan, but thanks. Bobby James says, getting back with an X is like putting garbage back in the refrigerator. <laughs> Honestly, I loved this so much. This made me laugh out loud when I saw it. I, I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. But there's a lot of people out there who have gone back with their ex, so no judgment, but slightly. All right, guys, that's all I got. Leave a like, subscribe, do all the things. I was your host, Joss. I will see you next time. Bye. Butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I forgot. I wrote this like five days ago. <laughs> I'm gonna forget what this is about. I have an itch. <laughs> Help me. I'm so itchy right now. My face is bothering me. Ah. I feel like I have a sneeze. It's gonna happen in this video. <laughs> Hopefully. I hate sneezing. <laughs> God, you know what? I'm just itchy everywhere. This is a problem. Huh.